Hi loves, it's Sasha. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, then welcome. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you are notified whenever I upload a new video. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A, which I haven't done in literally forever. I don't even know the last time I did one. Probably a few years ago, but I'm back doing one. And I'm going to start off with the first question. I got some screenshots from a few weeks ago. I asked you guys on my Instagram story to put some questions down because I would be doing a Q&A in the next few weeks, which is today. So the first question is from Rabbit Addison, and I will try to insert the question right here. So it's at Rabbit Addison, do you like short hair or long hair better? So I am learning to love my short hair because it actually is coming back in style. I don't know why, I guess it just is. I did see a picture of Zendaya with her short hair. Someone posted it on Facebook. I'll show you guys what it is. So someone, oh, Hollywood Beauties posted this photo of Zendaya with her short hair. It's so cool. I really love it. I mean... I would probably style it differently for myself, but on her it looks awesome. I, again, am learning to love my short hair because it's coming back in style. Miley Cyrus has like the same kind of hair. Maybe it's getting longer, I don't know, but I do remember she cut her hair and I'm, I'm kind of starting to like it, but I do miss my long hair. I cannot wait until it grows long again, so I don't know, I could do more with it, but I like it. The next question is, oh, from the same person, what's your favorite and least favorite social media app? So my favorite, okay, it really depends because social media in general can be toxic and I don't know, I feel like for this generation, for young people who are going on social media, for people who are nine years old this year, I think nine year olds are starting to actually go onto TikTok now and it still is toxic on there. It is very toxic. I get so much hate sometimes on my TikTok videos. I get DMs on Instagram and it's hard for me. I'm an influencer, I'm a public figure. I'm an actress, I'm a singer, I'm a makeup, I'm everything basically. I don't even know. I'm everything, but I'm a public figure in general and I have to deal with it. Everyone does, so. I've been dealing with it since middle school and I learned to just ignore it. But to answer the question, my favorite would probably have to be, I guess, Instagram because I love connecting with all you guys on Instagram and DMing you. I try to DM you guys every single day. I get so let me get let me show you the how many DMs I get from you guys every day. I try to get through every single one, I promise, but this is what I'm going through every day. It's a lot. I probably have over like 500 group chats. But um, I try to get through all of them. My least favorite app would probably be, maybe, I don't, I use every single app of mine, so I don't think I have a least favorite, but I would say maybe I wish I had more engagement on Facebook because I'm late to the game. <laughs> with Facebook. I started a Facebook account when I was so young and I never used it and then now I'm like posting since last year or the year before a lot but um, I really have to get my engagement up. That's it. I mean I'm not saying it's my least favorite but that's what I wish would be a plus for it. The next question is from Adson Ray. I'll be here. What color would you like to dye your hair? Well, I'm actually getting my hair colored on the 11th, and I don't really know how to describe it, I guess. I mean, I do have some red coming in. I, I like red hair. I like how it looks on me. I do have red hair now, like my roots are coming in sort of red. I have auburn hair, but I, I don't know. I guess it will have to depend on I don't really know how to describe, this. let me find it on Pinterest. I think my hairstylist will have to, um, my colorist will 
has to tell me what color it is that I like because I don't really know. It's not like Ariel Red. It's not going to be that. It's complicated. I will, you guys will see on my Instagram. I don't know how to describe it, but it's definitely going to be red still. Uh, the next question is from Samantha, Samantha Craig. When was your first kiss? Okay, all I'm gonna say is that it was in high school when I was, I think, a sophomore, and he was a freshman, I think. My god, how many years ago was that? That was when I was, was I 17 or 18? I can't even remember. Uh, it was when I was a sophomore. I was probably 17. That was in 2017. Oh my gosh. Okay, but it was when I was 17 and I was a sophomore in high school. And let me just say, th that's all I'm gonna say actually. <laughs> my friend, my close friends could ask me more about it, but that's all I'm gonna say for now. The next question is from Charlie underscore love underscore. Something you wanna to say to your followers. Okay, up to my followers, <laughs> to you guys. I want to say thank you so much for sticking with me through the years and all I want to do is inspire people and help people, I guess, follow their dreams and give people advice, although I try to give myself advice too sometimes because I'm human too. I'm a person too. I know that you guys look up to me and I love that so much. I just want to be like that big sister, but at times I do get, again, I'm human. I'm a person. I'm not like, I'm not perfect. So I do have those days sometimes, but I do want to say thank you to all of you for supporting me and for loving what I do. And I wouldn't be here today without you guys, so thank you. The next question is, oh, from the same person, cool. Who, in, I think she meant inspired. Who inspired you to be a powerful person like today? Like I am today. <laughs> um, okay, definitely a few people. So the first person I'm going to say is Audrey Hepburn, celebrity, because she is so classy. Like, everyone still knows who she is. Everyone still talks about her. Everyone still loves her as an actress, even though she is an old time actress. Everyone loves just her personality. She's so, she's an icon. That's what she is. And now I'm going to go to the second person, my mom. She is very powerful. She gets to the bottom of things. Kind of like my character, honestly, in Reed's points. My character, Sarah Franklin, she gets to the bottom of things, whether it's the last thing she's going to do, and I look up to her in many ways. Another person I'm going to say is my producer, Suzanne De Laurentiis. She has gone through, oh, so much. And she started her career when she was very young. But she has done so freaking much. She works so damn hard. And I don't even know if she ever sleeps. Okay, she definitely sleeps. That's, I'm being very dramatic right now. She made my dreams come true. She was my producer for my first movie that I was the lead in. And she helped me with my music. She gives me life advice. And she just, she's very sweet. And... I definitely look up to her as a person. She, she's an extremely excessive, compulsive, head-banging, triple A personality, and I can really look up to that. And the next question, well, it's not really a question, but it, the person is Chars VXF. She says, I love you so much, and I love you more. Next question is from Melios Florials. Can never pronounce, oh my gosh. What's the story? So I don't really know specifically what you want me to answer, but what's the story in general? I guess I'll translate that to what is going to be happening now for the next few months. So I'm going to be moving to LA for the year. I'm saying for the year because I don't know if it's for a lifetime, but 
for the year. I have a rental apartment for a year starting and moving uh, February 18th, so in a few weeks, and I have to get myself, I'm not even packed. <laughs> I didn't even start packing, so I gotta do that soon, probably tonight or tomorrow. But but I do have a small part, and I'm going to be filming that like end of February, I believe. And I'm very excited. I can't say anything about it now. And then after, I'm gonna be doing some makeup. I'm gonna be interning for wardrobe styling, makeup, like all that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna be taking some acting classes. And I'm just, I'm going to be really pursuing my career as an actress, singer, and makeup artist, and maybe stylist, I don't know, we'll see, but I'm moving the 18th. The next question is from Thalia, or Talia, I don't know if the H is silent, X Charlie, why did you decide to do acting? It's a very, very good question. So I decided to do acting because it's literally an escape from reality. I just love being on set and you know what? I wish someone told me like before I started filming my first movie, I wish someone told me that how addicting it is to be on set and that you get so close with your cast and crew and I don't know. It's just I've always loved acting, but I was too afraid to get into it because I'm dyslexic and it's hard for me to memorize lines very fast, so it's literally like studying for a test. That's what it is like to me. In middle school, I was always in the plays but singing. I wasn't acting because I was too afraid that I would forget the lines and we didn't have a lot of time. So I guess maybe Disney Channel started me out loving acting because I was like, oh, I want to do that, like Hannah Montana. I want to do that, but with the lines, it scares me because like what line comes after what? It's really hard, but I love acting again because it's escape from reality. I get to be any person I want to be and it's just, it's a challenge for me. It's it exercises my mind, but my creative side of my mind. And the next one is, well, they're not really questions, but it's from Lauren X Angel Fan Gray. This isn't a question, but I love you and how are you? I love you too, and I am doing well. How are you? So I have a few more questions. Your goal, like follower goal. My goal is to get to, right now, 50,000 followers on Instagram and then 100,000. We're starting and then we're going to build up. And we're doing a pretty good job, so thank you. Uh, Instagram or Twitter? Instagram. I'm like barely on Twitter. I think Twitter is just like, oh my god, there's so much on Twitter. It gives me a headache sometimes. New York or LA? Well, I definitely need a change, so now LA, definitely, but I love New York for Fashion Week. Your fave picture of you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, what my favorite picture of me? I made a collage, but that's not, it's like a bunch of photos. Oh my god. I'm gonna sound so full on myself right now, but I don't have a favorite photo of me. I have like so many. <laughs> Which is a good thing, because some people don't like any of themselves so if you could choose your name what will it be I don't know I remember when I was younger I did not like my name but you know what my name is my brand right now so I learned to love my name I if you could choose your name what would it be I don't know I like my name <laughs> The next question is from Rabbit Addison. Oh, cool. Uh, are you dropping any new song? Stay tuned. I'm dropping my first debut single, Catch Me I'm Falling, at the end of February. I'm so excited. I, re I got the chance to remake it. The original singer is Jade Starling from Pretty Poison, and I am so honored that I got to re-record it and make it a hit again. Hopefully. That's it. That's all the questions I have. 
Thank you guys for sending them in. I love you all so much. I hope to do these Q&As more often because I have not done one in so long, as I said before. But I really hope you guys love this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and follow all my social media. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, loves. Mwah.